politics nowadays is definitely changing. Ireland Spectre from Pennsylvania got bounced out last night. Is this a message to all the incumbents? I think if uh, I was an incumbent, I'd be worried. I think the people want to get rid of everybody that's in and start over with a clean slate. Uh, you're paying all these pensions and all this money to these people. Get rid of them, start them over. Well, it, it seems that, I, I don't know, to me that sends a huge message. You know, uh, you got this um, Ron Paul's son out there in Kentucky, he's winning. You, you got Ireland Spectre knocked out. I, I think if you have a political name nowadays, you're done. You're finished. But it, I, I think it's time for this movement. I'm not too sure about uh, people who run for office who tell me that they're not political, that they're a businessman. I don't think you can run government like a business. The nonprofit organization should be uh, serving the people and uh, not trying to get a profit for myself or my the people that lobby with me. Well, uh, somewhat I'll agree with you about the you know the businessmen running, but at the same time, I, I'm more for somebody that's gonna want to run it like a business just because everybody else runs it like it's their own personal playground and, and just seems to constantly steal from me. I mean, not all incumbents are bad, not all politicians are bad, but it seems like the ones we have right now we're very dissatisfied with, and, and, and I, I, I'm i not going to say I feel bad for any politician, but I got a feeling even a good politician or two is going to get knocked out because nobody wants an incumbent anymore. Well, that's true, but also a lot of people run for office thinking they're going to help the community. They get out there and find out it's... Uh, Business as usual. You can't get anything done because you gotta, you gotta uh, give to get. So, but if we took out all the incumbents, the people that have been in there playing this game for so long, and put a bunch of average guys in there who don't know how to play the game yet and stick them together, you know, uh, who would you rather play poker with? Would you rather play poker with someone who's won national tournaments or a bunch of your buddies that know as much about poker as you do? Well, it's going to take a while to uh, level up the playing field. Well, at this point, if they voted out, I think, I think the way the story goes, if they voted out all the incumbents, we can wipe out two-thirds of our Congress and Senate this year in the vote. I, I just think it's a strong message. And, oh, yeah. You know, I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, one of my customers, I think, put it best yesterday. And you know what he told me? The lazy white man's coming back to vote. <laughs> they got too complacent. Yeah, we well, did. Absolutely, absolutely. I think their the complacency was something. You know, hey, when times are good, nobody really minds just not paying attention. But I mean, and it's and it's not just in our local area in Buffalo. It's across the country right now that I think uh, you're going to see some sweeping movement. Uh, the Tea Party seems to be gathering all kinds of strength here. But I don't know if they gather strength because of what they stand for or as much of the fact that people are just tired of the same old shit in politics. Yeah, I agree. Time for a change. Time for a I change. think that's the only reason Obama got elected. Everybody it is, to be does. honest with you, in this day and age, I don't think that I don't think that any of us, to be honest with you, and it's not a racial statement, but I don't think any of us ever thought that we'd see a black president. But what happened was that people were aggravated enough with politics the way that they are that they wanted anything, anything for a change. And he ran on change. And, and I'll say it again, you know, it, it, as far as I'm concerned with Obama, it's, you know, maybe he's got the right ideas in mind, but the change I'm getting from him isn't worth the dollars it cost me. That's just my own personal Well, opinion. he probably had a lot of uh, ideas, but uh, he can't get them through Congress. Well, again, and this is a prime opportunity for, for people to come back and vote and finally say, all right, we're not going to put the incumbents in there for one reason. We want to level the playing field, and we don't want them to learn the game so well. I mean, you spend 30 years in Congress or the Senate, trust me, you know how to play the game. But if you put a bunch of guys in there that got to learn the rules all over again, you know, 
I mean, hey, and, uh, you've been in there doing it so long, you know what's going to happen. They all learn the game. You need a couple guys in there that don't know the game yet, I think. Level the playing field. 